I'm going to try to do a little video on uh, some equipment editing here. I'm not going to call myself a modder because I'm not, but uh, a little burnout on playing the game a little bit. I'm playing like 41, 42 episodes with a mic on uh, PV River, so <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can be a little help because I was not having any luck finding information on how to do this myself. Um, let me see if I can get some stuff moved around here. Should have done this ahead of time, but hey, shit happens. Alright, first off, if you go to where your game is installed, uh, if you have Steam, more than likely I have Windows 7. Uh, it's going to be Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and farming simulator so it's a little bit of a, a graphs there but this SDK <clears throat> that's where it has all your information um, you can look at tutorials and giants and so forth and also has a very helpful uh, if you want to do map there's your mod, mad map there's your sample mod this is to do a piece of equipment uh, I'm trying something a little different it also tells you your vehicle types it opened up off to the side there, but anyhow, trying a, a little little different here. If you uh, hit uh, exclamation point mods, I do not have to be streaming for this to pop up. It'll bring up my uh, my mod page. Uh, if you scroll down to this little tool right here, mod descriptor version 1.1. I played with this already a little bit off a of stream and it, it seemed to be working okay. Um, basically it will take you to this this program here. Um, if you download it it will be a zip. Let's see here. It will obviously be in a zip folder. If you uh, uh, it's open that's why. No. Right again. <laughs> so like any other file you can just basically um, extract all or I'm using WinRAR which is kind of nice because it puts it right in the folder I want so extract to that folder and there it is so let's see first off we're gonna do the the tree seeder I don't know what they called in game but I don't know if anyone else is annoyed by it, but you can only go, what, 3, 4 mile an hour? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the trees, and I'm going to call it Tree Speeder. I already did one to make sure this works. I hadn't tried this program yet. <clears throat> I'm going to go right into my test track, and I'm going to go ahead and make a folder, and I'm going to call it Tree. Oops, let's do this tree speeder simple enough alright then I'm going to go to my computer same location as I found them other files program files mine is in steam steam apps common farming simulator data uh, now I'm looking for vehicles and it's under tools there's obviously steerable would be your be your vehicles and tractors but I'm gonna go under tools <clears throat> and it's a damn con and, and if you don't know it you can basically just open up your game and find a brand that's the easiest way to find uh, what you're trying to mod <coughs> or I'm gonna say edit I'm not gonna call it a mod because I'm not a modder all you're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can access this piece of equipment in the mod part of the game and I can go into the XML this way and actually change the speed of it. Um, you don't want to do it to the in-game equipment because then it'll mess it up if you want to play multiplayer. If you're never going to play multiplayer, then you can just have at it. I wouldn't suggest it though because anytime you reinstall your game, you're going to lose it anyway. So I'm going to open this up. This is what we need just to make it a mod. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to go back to my test track. Let's see. Where did you go? A tree speeder? I'm going to paste it in there. Alright, so that part's done. This is basically equipment info. I'm not going to mess with the speed yet. We're just going to show you how you can get this thing in game. So.
So we're going to go ahead and try this little tool out. My descriptor, run. Um, first thing you want to do if you speak English or read English is switch this to English. Um, <clears throat> once again, author, I'm not really doing the mod, so I should probably just call it Giants, but just for the hell of it, we're just going to kind of show you, for example, how you can change this. We're going to call it version 1.0, uh, mod name, we're going to call it, oops, tree speeder, mod description, plant your trees faster, simple enough, is this mod super multiplayer, eh, we're going to say yes, activate store, um, store name, we're going to call it once again, let's just call it tree speeder. Okay, this is where it starts to get a little more difficult. Um, this is where the icon is found. Um, the nice thing about this program is it automatically goes. I don't know, it doesn't actually. As I say, it automatically goes and finds that information for you. Um, but this is the store icon. Uh, the reason I knew that already is that I already opened up a. A previous XML let's go ahead and utilize that what I did is I actually made a folder and copied that SDK over to this mods folder but once again if you go into this sample mod and if you go to the mod descript icon file name this will kind of give you an idea this is a basic of what you're looking at so basically you're looking for the store the equipment piece name and then this is what's a little odd, but I, I found this works a little better. But all the file names are DDS, and this Dave talks about this with DodgeNet. Um, running in PNG, it, it seems to function a little better. So I'm going to show you how to do that again. But this is just going to kind of give you a basic idea of what that file should look like when you're done. Hey, Amaki, how's it going, bud? I'm going to try a little bit of a tutorial here. If you haven't caught it all, uh, hopefully this saves on Twitch this time. It's not a waste of my time. Um, I'll do another one maybe if it doesn't and I'll just hit record but yeah I'm gonna try to make a tree planter off the end game one and uh, make it go a little faster so back to the mod script program so we have the description and so we just talked about the icon so I'm looking for the store um, so once again I'm gonna go to the C drive on my computer program steam steam apps Common, Farming Simulator, Data, and Vehicles, Store. And then we're going to look for the store. And it starts with a D. There it is. Damcon. That's the piece of equipment we're going to mess with. So I'm going to double click on it. Like I said, I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to change this to PNG. It just seems to work a little better. Uh, XML file, that's the file we copied, so I want to make sure we pull that from the actual folder that this, this uh, mod's going to run from. So we're going to go into here. I'm going to go to my desktop. It's going to be the easiest way for me to find it. We're going to look for my test track, <clears throat> tree speeder, and there's the XML file. I'm going to open it up that is done. I already went ahead and did that. Functions. This unit here I haven't I didn't find I could probably put it under sewing machine but it's not really a sewing machine because it's it's actually for uh, trees so capacity I'm not gonna worry about that either I think it's 10 I think it'll do 10 saplings but once again, I'm not going to mess with that, cause more issues. And here is the trick on this little unit. I uh, I had to add, in fact, because I re-unzipped it. <laughs> it's not there. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go back into this sample mod. Oops. SDK. Specs and functions. 
not it. I found it, I think, off the other categories. Nope. Vehicle types. I need fill type, probably. Basically, to get the icon to show up, once again, it's not a major thing, but if you want to make it look decent, this is this is the fill types and because seedlings is not popping up what is nice about this program is you can go to view editor and here you can add fill types that are not used in standard maps and I'm gonna cheat I'm going to bring up this tree mod mod descript yeah it's tree saplings I thought so I'm gonna copy close Close, close, and we're going to add that tree saplings. And this is where it comes in handy with Dave's maps, all the extra, like say apples and you name it. <clears throat> this is where you can, and it's just giving you the icon. This doesn't make this vehicle load tree saplings. It just is going to show the icon in the store. This mod script is basically important for the store to load it. So close, and there we go, tree saplings. So, combination, I have to do a little investigating on that. And once again, this is just, I think it's 10 trees that this normally handles. I'm not going to mess with that. And we said this is the dam con. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but. Oh, cool. And it actually popped right up for us. And once again, I'm going to switch this to PNG category this unit is in the wood category rotation that's if you want to load sideways or not we're not going to mess with that this is your price I don't know we're just going to call it 10,000 right, yeah, that would be 100,000 I'm going to pay much for a tree planter daily cost you can put whatever you want you can put nothing if you want we're going to call it 15 horsepower we'll say it needs 20 horsepower working with I do believe this once again is just gonna it's it's not the actual width of the piece of equipment when it spawns I think this is just telling it you know this is how wide it is for example on some of the sewers um, <clears throat> I need to play with this a little bit because I know that some equipment spawn and they are uh, too narrow so they end up on top of each other I'm gonna put eight meters just for the hell of it here that should be it so we're gonna file save as we're in a tree speeder and it's just mod descript for this file that's a, if you look at any of your mods save if you look at any of your mods let's go in here so p rivers uh, for example every single one has this mod descript file and it breaks it down basically we just put all this stuff in with another program and this one's a little more uh, complicated as you can see specializations and even yeah <laughs> so we'll get into that hopefully more as I learn a little more but that should be it I'm gonna close this down I already saved it but let's save it again what the hell save alright so back to my mods test track Tree speeder. And here we go. We have the piece of equipment and the mod script file. Um, once we make sure it loads up in the store, then we're going to get into this and tweak it so that we can uh, speed it up a little bit. I need to find a program that lets you actually tweak the XML files, but <coughs> that'll be another day. So we should be good to go. I'm going to go to my mod folder selector. You guys really need to get this if you don't have it yet because this this lets you separate all your mods uh, let's go to the test track and open the game career I'm actually going to I couldn't find to buy the um, saplings on this map I'll have to check into that so I'm going to delete Yes, I'm going to open the game. 
Hmm, the only thing about is money though. Oh well. Easy. Let's just do Westbridge because I know the map a little better. Oops. I need to go back to just game capture. What happens if I Yeah, that'll work. No, it doesn't. It's odd that I have to switch back and forth between that, but anyway, okay. Back. Let's see if I have the money cheat mod. I do not, so once again I didn't prefer pretty well for this, so let's just go to the store, garage. Let's sell everything but what we need. Keep one of these guys. <coughs> okay, so back out, go to our mods and force your equipment. And yeah, see, I'm missing, I'm missing a picture. But let's see what happens. Yeah, I cannot load a resource. All right, no big deal. We'll uh, we'll fix that. Let's see if it loads anyway. Yep, could not be so. See. I had a problem, so no big deal. It's actually a good thing we can go in and see how we can fix it. Let's go back to monitor capture. Close. Back into here. This time I'm actually just going to go right into the tree speeder. My descript. Yeah, see. some reason on the image let's open this up just to see what does happen so let me open it with that program or not not the script run file open Guy right there. So okay. Yep. That one. Okay. Now I know why. It needs to have all this in front of it. I don't know why it didn't grab it. Let's try it this way again. I had to fix this last time. I want to make sure I can do it from the actual. Oops. Computer, C, <coughs> program, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Park Simulator, Data, Vehicles, Store. We're looking for the store. Damn, okay. Looking for that file right there. But it's not putting <clears throat> the full what we could do is we could copy that file but kind of pointless we know this is the uh, string it's looking for I'm just gonna copy it this way copy paste see I don't know why it didn't bring in the full hmm. oh well File, save, close. We will try this again. Oh, I need to. You know what? Let's do that quick. For testing reasons, let's make sure we have. What's that under FS? Money cheat. Copy, test track, paste. Okay, that'll make it a little easier. I don't normally need that on the test track, but uh, because <clears throat> I could not find any saplings to buy. Easy, Westbridge. Oops, 
Let's get back into just game capture. I need to get some help on the streaming side. That might be a little easier way to, to do that. Okay, so let's go get some money and go to the shop. Mods, forestry equipment. Hey, look at that. We got a picture. And it shouldn't be any errors either. So open. <laughs> well, it is going to give me some troubles. Oh, got ahead of myself. Okay. Well, it's basically saying that I uh, failed to load the i3D file, so I uh, got ahead of myself again. So let's go check out. Once again, this kind of helps you find mistakes that I'm doing. So back to test track tree speeder on the script icon oh okay I know what the problem is I need to go into this itself and we want this to actually load right out of the folder so that to get it to load right out of the root folder from the mod this needs to go like this Forgot all about that. So yeah, just basically take. So this way, it's not looking for the equipment from the actual game. It's actually finding it at, in that root folder. Root folder is basically where the mod folder is. So save, close, minimize. Let's try this again. Third time's the charm. Is that how it goes. <laughs> Easy West Bridge. <coughs> Not have any errors yet. Start. Okay. Go to the store. I'll buy some money. And forestry. Yeah, and here's that fruit type. See the little tree down there? And they're working with, like I said, I didn't think it mattered. It shows you it's 20 horsepower, made in this 15 day, and there's our price. I'll go ahead and get this off the screen and buy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Man, I just did this. What am I doing wrong? Uh, well, failed to load i3d file. Still do me else. What was I thinking? Yeah, I didn't mess that up. Let's do this. Go back in. I didn't need to change it. There's something else going on. I will find it. Uh, let's see. I'm gone. So I want to copy that again. <coughs> Test track, tree speeder. Let's get rid of that file. Yes. Paste. <coughs> Mod to script. That's, that should be good. I don't know why. <coughs> That's the file, it's not loading. Let me cheat. It's funny because, yeah, this worked fine. Yeah, just for the hell of it. Put the string in there because I th think it's trying to find it inside my folder. And see right there's actually your uh, 
<clears throat> fill type as well, so I could have found it there. Save, close, let's try this again, man. I just did this like 10 minutes ago, it's funny. I guess I should show you guys as well uh, how I'm getting the uh, the log up. Um, Big Daddy shows us it's the uh, tilt key, which is just to the left of the one on the top of your keyboard. That's what brings up this log. Um, you have to have the dev tools activated for that. That'd be another video. All right, let's try this again. I actually should be able to buy this without getting money. Force your equipment. Hey, so that fixed it. Yeah, some reason I didn't do it on the first one. Yeah, it popped right up. So yeah, I had to put that string in front of it. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and get some money. And let's buy a tractor. And actually, it's kind of cool. I've been messing with this tractor here. Uh, I have to find a link to that and post it. I like it. I've done some tweaking to it so it's a little faster than your normal tractor, but diable as well. All right, so here is the seeder. Let's uh, make sure it functions before we mess with it anymore. And we need to go to the garden center. So, do I teleport? No, I don't. But it goes 70 miles, so who cares? <laughs> a little squirrely. I've actually tweaked this tractor to except all trailers as well the in-game one doesn't let you do that the next uh, task is to I want to add an attacher on the front of it but no, back to the planner okay buy a sapling pallet loads Climbing trees, and as you see, three mile on. So that's the next thing we're gonna fix. <clears throat> so let's go ahead. Biggest thing we're doing equipment modding and editing stuff is don't save it, because that way we won't, you won't get any errors popping up if there's a problem. So I'm gonna quit without saving. Go back to monitor capture. <coughs> okay, back into piece of equipment test track tree speeder and here's the fun part okay as there's your size I think that affects how far apart yeah and actually yeah, there's already a speed limit value sometimes you have to add that in um, a lot of times the speed limit uh, what else there's uh, work speed I think let's go for example, multiplayer, let's bring up the, is this the, yep, New Holland, so let's bring this guy up, yeah, it's the speed limit, so I guess I was wrong, there's, sometimes there's a work speed, but as you can see, this is, <clears throat> this is the, uh, the head on PV Rivers that comes with the mod pack. It's up to 25 and that that does 12 mile an hour so what the hell let's go ahead and I don't know how it figures that out but let's uh let's crank this tree guy up to 25 see what happens and file make sure I save it the right place yep 
test track. Okay. Save that guy. Yes. Minimize, minimize. Let's bring up the game. Career Easy West Bridge. Next thing to do is put the teleport mod in there. Do <clears throat> some money. Let's go buy it. Let's make sure we don't get any errors. Park animations, so there's no issues there. Okay. Let's go back. Let's get our tractor again. Let's go orange this time. What the hell? <coughs> hey, Paul, how's it going? case. I used to be orange. I'm so used to hitting the enter button. <laughs> I actually could probably check this out without a tree in it. But. Oh, there we go. We're doing probably a little fast so you can slow it down but yeah it's about I think the header does 12 so as you can see we're doing 15 mile an hour. Originally it was uh, in fact to even show it more. Uh, let's go buy the end game one. Uh, forced equipment, and the planner. Let's get the same tractor so we're apples to apples. No pun intended. Tractor. Let's go with yellow. Well, I'm doing good, Paul. Thanks for asking, man. Just Trying on a tutorial here. I don't know if I'm doing any good at it, but <laughs> okay. And let's see. As you can see, three mile an hour. So this guy doing 15. I was gonna look too. Yeah, see, it doesn't give the description tree speeder. I was hoping down here somewhere it would give an actual description of what it does, but not so. Let's go grab some trees just to double check that I didn't screw anything up. <laughs> it definitely is a little squirrelier on a regular map compared to the Oh, I bet you I didn't change the, the wheel settings. This might not be the latest updated version of the tweaking I did. Stopping pretty good though. Sapling. Okay. Drive control. I'm so used to. All right. Like bring up our log. And we're still. You know, it says I don't own it, but plant trees at 15 mile an hour either way. I'm not getting any air, so. Cool. Plant trees down Miller Road. I don't know if I have the. I don't have the speed up. I don't think I want to wait days upon days to see them grow, but I think you get the idea the uh, planter is working. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to stop this video. Hopefully it saves to Twitch. Um, last time I did this. It did not, and then I'm going to start another one back up. I'm going to try to do some modding on this tractor editing. I keep saying modding. I'm going to, I already made it so it'll, it'll accept. Let's go ahead and see, actually. We'll open up the store. Oh, actually, we'll just, yeah, we'll cut this now so I'm not dragging two subjects into one. But uh, 
I'm going to stop the video here guys and I will be right back. Let's see if we can uh, mess with this tractor a little bit.